once fear is gone, once you're not in the negative anymore, people cannot just threaten you, murmur about you, gossip about you, any of that, just like that anymore. And that's why the world wants you to remain in the negative. That's why the world doesn't want you to hear about the gospel. That's why the world, world doesn't want you to agree with Christ. Because people can get rid of you easily through lying or through deception and people just take it well, just bad luck. But when you are in agreement with Christ, uh -uh, it's not going to happen. And I've witnessed people losing it because they saw me well without any complaints. Why? Because they thought they can just talk bad about me, will against me. Uh-uh, uh-uh. I follow Christ. There are consequences for their will. And they've experienced them. I don't know exactly what happened, but there are consequences. Now they have to face them, whether they will it or not. So that's why the world doesn't want you to agree with Christ, because it's going to have consequences for them. Look, there was a time... Uh, several years back, I visited a believer, and the believer lived in a neighborhood with a lot of migrants from another background. And the believer was telling that they were often harassed. They were harassed in the, in, by people in the neighborhood. So we began to pray. I began, I took the lead, he, he followed also, and we prayed upon all those strongholds, demonic strongholds that were operating against the family. We decreed fire to consume all witchcraft and all he hexes and spells that are operating against that family. So we left it at that. Several weeks later, this believer said to me, Rashid, didn't you pray fire on demonic strongholds on our behalf uh, several weeks back? I forgot about it already, I moved on along, and I thought, oh yeah, yeah, we, we did that. And then he said, well, there's a supermarket over here, it was, it has been burned down. Everything has been burned in a supermarket, and even show me news articles about it. It was just a supermarket at... Um, his previous living place because the family moved out after the um, after that prayer a, a while later they moved away but the supermarket that was near them it was completely burned down and then the guys told me Rashid don't worry about anything you have God with you now first of all I do not okay, like, I'm not uh, I'm not into pyromania that I just want fire everywhere no 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 that family, they had a need, they were obviously harassed, so we prayed in the spirit to deal with the spiritual, with the paranormal behind it. But, as this would pray, it has a physical manifestation. So, I don't know exactly what's going on, but probably there were people in that supermarket, or the supermarket was, market was used as a paranormal cover, by witch coffins or whatever, I don't know, but things have worked out. So, as a believer, understand that the enemy is far more aware of your potential than you are. Worldly people that pay attention, I'm not saying all worldly people, worldly people that pay attention will notice your potential far earlier, earlier than you do. And that's why sometimes it happens as a believer that people give you a, a privileged treatment. They give you a special treatment. It can be that you're in line Waiting that someone comes by and says, hey, come, follow me. Uh, and they help you earlier. And all the other customers are just standing there. And you're thinking, what's going on here? It's because they notice your potential. And they prefer having you as a friend. That's why they gave you the prefer preferential treatment. There's nothing wrong with receiving such treatment. Just realize that they're doing that out of self-preservation. I had one time that I was purchasing a cake and that the one behind 
the uh, the desk just said take it i was thinking uh ma'am i have to pay it she said just take it i thought okay i'm gone i had such weird things happen and those that know me directly i pay always when i'm going to a restaurant i always hand out the money or my bank card to pay it after tell me no no you can do it later and I, and, and I do it later i don't cheat on people and do such uh, such stuff but it happened to me people just said just take it and i could see at them that they were kind of frightened of something i'm thinking what are you frightened of i carry no knife i carry no gun what's going on now i understand it and when such things happen when people give you a preferential treatment a preferential treatment doesn't have to be something that's dishonest towards others for example it can be that you need to um you need to get some payment of an insurance company and that normally that company is taking months before they process stuff why because the company doesn't like pay out the insurance and all the customers over there or let me say maybe it's not a co company maybe it's a government institution that you need to uh, the municipality needs to process something on your behalf and it's people know that the government is like an a-hole they take long but with you because it's you within five days they've done it well with all other people it takes two or three months before they hear anything back and then when people hear that you got it quickly that the guy that you got it done so quickly they're going to think huh how is this possible or it can be that there is this um how to say maybe there is this boss somewhere that's very hard has a very mean attitude but when you're around he's very kind he kind of melts down what's going on that boss knows your potential and he knows that a he needs to watch out his will because his will is out of line uh he doesn't know what's going to happen so he treats you he gives you a preferential treatment as a believer when it happens use it for god's glory okay the enemy may cause people to give you a preferential treatment to lock you up in pride and to let you think you know what i'm blessed that's why things are going so well okay because you're blessed going things are going well but the enemy now is coming with counterfeit blessings to trap you to make to cause you to compare yourself with others now you can compare yourself with others but not to rely upon if you if you're a construction worker and the other is also construction worker you can compare both of you as construction workers but not on other fields i hope so you hope, i hope you understand what i'm saying here look whatever happens it works out for you good that's that's why you agree with christ okay so if it happens that you as a believer things happen quickly for you praise the lord if you're in a line and suddenly you're you're being helped and you can get out earlier than others hey you're blessed it happens don't feel bad about it just use the privileges you receive for christ christ's glory that's what i'm saying here that being said be at peace